everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do something different I'm going to do my version of a peacock feather thought I'd veer a little bit away from the flowers today so I am going to be using three magic flat brushes they're so full of paint it's hard for me to tell what size they are I do believe I have a 14 a 12 and a number six paint I'm using today is going to be Peridot, and they are of course all folk art paints. Burnt Umber, Linen, Cerulean Blue, and Wicker White. Now I normally do a combination of a mixture of the uh, enamels and the multi-surface just to, a lot of times it depends on what kind of colors are available at the time. And that's why I do the difference. It's not necessarily, you know, anything in, in particular more than just that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin with my number 14. I am going to start off with doing a little bit of the linen, a little bit of the, of the burnt umber, and just kind of blending it a little bit. Doesn't have to be real precise. Again, I'm not not a big stickler with the brush loading. I'm sure it's important, but I just don't have the patience to spend a ton of time on it. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna go, let's go this direction. All right, so I'm gonna begin by putting down, just kind of doing a tear duck, tear, tear duck stroke. So I'm just pushing down and then raising back up. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna come back. The next color I'm gonna do is the Peridot. And do a little white. I could even do a little linen, doesn't matter. Really mainly wanna get the, get the green to show. All right, so then I'm going to come up here, do the next stroke. And I want more of the green to show, so I'm going to load it with a little bit more green. Now this is a, this green is a, a metallic, so if you had more of a olive green or if you wanted to mix it, you could certainly do that to come up with the, the green that you want if you don't want to use the metallic. All right, so then I'm going to go with the cerulean blue and a little bit of the wicker wide. Again, I can do the linen with that if I want. And then I'm just going to come here and do the same thing. Just push it down and pull it. I might want to start over here a little bit. Push it down and pull it like that. All right, so I'm going to keep using this one. And all I'm going to do is just keep dipping my brush into different colors and creating, and I can go ahead and just do my little stem that goes down here. Once again, I'm just gonna load my brush and I'm gonna just come up around it and pull out like that. So if I wanna space the colors out a little bit, you can do that too. But I'm gonna come up around here and just keep Keep adding, like you said, if you feel like it doesn't have enough color to it, then go back in and add more to it. And actually on this one, I think I'm gonna put another petal there. Come up here, add a little bit more color to it. Sorry, I hit the camera there. And you can give it a little wiggle, give it a little flow like that if you feel like you're getting too much paint in your brush just wipe your brush off it's pretty easy and you can practice with it and just keep rotating back and forth but I think these are fun I used to do these on glasses all the you know a lot and my hangers, the bridal hangers that I used to create. 
know it's a fun pattern. And if you wanted to do it and throw in some other colors with it, you certainly could do that. I just kind of like to mix the colors up. Yeah, just kind of rotate them and so they're not all the same. Again, if you feel like you need to go back over it, you certainly can. It's pretty easy to do that. If you had a bigger space, you could wave your leaf a little bit more, or not your leaf, but your feather a little bit more. And as you come down the stem, if you want to make your the little feathers not as long, not as wide, you can certainly adjust that. It doesn't have to be identical to what a real one looks like. Use your imagination and create create your own. That's for sure. have to come all the way to the end. I'm just going to cover this a little bit more so you can see it. But anyhow, there you go. Pretty easy, right? Pretty simple. Anyone can do it if you can hold a paintbrush. Alright, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before you leave, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.